Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to take a look at another very very good starter gun and a very good gun in general actually and that is my Saima AK-47. Now we could go into a specific review about this model but I think when you're talking Saima and you're talking AK-47 for under £200 the only changes you're going to see between all the various models that they do is an aesthetic one. Uh, much of the internals are pretty much identical and really when you're choosing an AK it is about what you want from the gun. So do you want a faux wood finish at the front? Do you want we real wood? I doubt you're going to get real wood for under £200 but who knows. Do you want a more traditional AK stock? folding stock or like me would you prefer an M4 style stock? Would you like an AK with a Picatinny rail across the top or as with this one would you be okay with purchasing the more traditional AK style side mount to provide you with a Picatinny rail? Those are the questions you need to ask yourself when you're picking your Saima AK because it is all down to you guys and what you want to see from the gun. In terms of usability, reliability and performance, I'm, I've been absolutely blown away with my AK since owning it. It's a, a very nice gun to use. It's uh, part steel stamped, part uh, polymer, so obviously Internals represent steel, the buffer tube is uh, all metal at the back, upper and lower receivers, uh, barrel, but everything else, certainly this, this particularly nice handguard is polymer, mag is polymer, pistol grip is polymer, stock itself is polymer. But, uh, but yeah, it's a super performing gun. I've used it a lot in CQB. It's very nimble, very agile, comes in probably ever so slightly heavier than your standard M4, but doesn't shoot any less accurately. It's not a real AK, you don't need to worry about it climbing up the wall. It's it, All around it's a very well performing gun and I love it to pieces. The magazines hold a, a plethora of rounds, probably more than your standard M4, which caps out at around 300 for a high capper. This is a 450. And I'd say the only downside from owning an AK, which isn't really a downside if you prepare enough for it, is things like uh, battery choice. They will require a single stick battery to go inside here. Uh, unlike an M4 where, dependent on your stock at the rear, you can go for a much wider selection of batteries, whether it be a crane style or, or what have you. So you're slightly more limited to, to which batteries you choose. And obviously, there's a certain limitation that comes with owning anything other than an M4, and that is magazines. Obviously, your standard M4 platform can pretty much take a magazine from any manufacturer unless your gun is a SIG MCX, which is very particular about which magazines it wants to take. And uh, with an AK, your limitation comes in the fact that you don't actually see enough of them on the field, unfortunately. It's probably a case of one AK to every 10 or 12 M4s on any given day. So you're not going to have that option or it's unlikely that you'd have that option to get chucked a mag from your friend and share magazines around and that kind of thing. There's just not going to be enough of them to go around on the field. So the likelihood is the AK is going to give you a slight more investment in terms of needing a couple of spare mags as well. But overall, it's a fantastic performing gun. It looks fantastic. As you can see with uh, some simple smartening up and the addition of an optic and a canted sight and stuff like that, you can really transform the gun into something a little bit special in my uh, view. It's very easy to get it noticed in a sea of M4s or 
four one sixes and that kind of deal. So I hope this has been of some use to you. If you are considering an AK and want a little bit more advice, you can contact me in the comments below or head over to the blog and contact me directly through email and stuff. I'd be happy to help you with any inquiries you may have. If you've enjoyed the content, please subscribe and leave a like. It's always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.